man. Did your flame keep going out on your furnace or your hot water tank? Uh, mine did, and it was super irritating, but I figured out after a whole day of screwing around with it, guess what? Replace the thermocouple, all that stuff, it still wouldn't stay lit. I'll include a little video right away about how far I went to try to figure out why it wouldn't go. But the solution was airflow. You're on camera now. What? No, don't call me. Okay, nothing. Doesn't light. Okay. <laughs> Pilot's on, it's working, thermocouple obviously works, and now the most retarded part of all. Uh, looks quite plainy there. Yeah, it, is, it would be really plainy. But that's it, it stays on and it burns. It doesn't shut off. It does exactly what it's supposed to. If I take this and put it in there, it won't, it, the pilot won't even ignite. It's insanity. If you're like me, I changed the thermocouple, I changed the, the gas line, changed uh, the, the striker. Nothing, it, just nothing would light uh, on the inside. So I took it out. Turned it around so I could check it in the open air and make sure it lit and uh, it does light, works fine. So here is my temporary solution. <clears throat> here you have your cover, okay? Comes off like this. So I replaced the pilot line. I replaced the thermocouple, replaced the striker, checked all this out, everything's fine in here. I didn't, you know, it doesn't need to be done. This was fine, but it's not getting enough air. So I took the window off here and the door is actually open now. This insulation that comes around these things won't combust unless you're somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 degrees C, 250 degrees C. So it's really unlikely that anything's going to catch fire there. Um, that said, it's not the way that it's built to go together. However, if you're like me and you don't have thousand dollars to spend on a hot water tank on a Tuesday, this will certainly get you through for a few days. Um, but this gap allows airflow to get in and allows the burner to work normally. What was happening was I would put the burner in, uh, I would I'd use my striker because the little one wouldn't work, and um, the flame would gutter out. So it would pop, 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 and then it would gutter out. So here is what the problem was. This guy right here in your hot water tank, every single one has some different version of it and this is basically your combustion air intake and so what happens is if this is blocked it it starves the combustion chamber for fuel mine is blocked so if you've replaced everything else this stuff right here super easy to fix this is easy this is easy all of it together costs maybe maybe twenty dollars and I live in Canada so in the US or whatever I don't know maybe that's like six dollars worth of stuff these are your combustion air intakes there's little tiny holes so the air comes in through here goes down the side and then there's a little hole at the bottom <clears throat> that feeds air into the middle of the combustion chamber underneath this thing right underneath your flue and over time that collects debris and the way that you clean that is you have to drain your tank you put your tank on its side you take the few screws that are on the bottom there, you pop that plate off, you just wipe it clean. It would probably look a lot like the lint dryer or the lint screen in your dryer. Uh, for those of you who are like me, please don't spend seven hours replacing and replacing and fixing and getting frustrated. If you know your thermocouple works, <clears throat> if you know that you're getting the proper amount of flow to your pilot light, and if you know that you know that uh, the valve is fine and there's some very simple tests to do and it still won't light, just assume you're not getting air in there. Don't do what I did. It's just airflow, it's very simple. You have two choices. You can either open this and leave it off, which a whole bunch of correct professionals will talk about what a retard I am for having done that. The second option is just to drain your tank, put it on its side, give it a little scrape on the bottom, Put it all back together if i'd have known that at nine o'clock in the morning yesterday i probably just would have done that first because uh 
I took the burner in and out about 15 times every hour for like five hours. It was kind of a nightmare. No one I broke the gas line in a bunch. Don't do what Donnie don't did. If you replace your thermocouple, if you know that there's gas getting to it, if you know that it's not your valve, which you can tell, like I said, there's a couple very simple tests, clean the lint off the bottom and whatever else is in there. Stand it back up, fill it with water, call it good. Uh, that's my pro tip because I couldn't find any videos that just said this. So, so now there's one. The end. Thank you.